In this video, I'll show you how to make a simple dialogue system in Godot. It displays the text and the name of the speaker, and if I press left click, it shows the next line, and if there are no more lines, it deactivates. So, here's my dialogue manager node. I can also add it here, but then I have to add this audio stream player, this is the beep sound that plays when I advance the dialogue. I made it a class so I can easily add it to scenes. I exported this variable called dialog lines, which is an array containing strings. You can store your dialog lines here. I use Godot's localization system, so I only write keywords here, and Godot automatically replaces them with lines from this CSV file based on the selected language. But if you don't use translations, you can just write your lines here with no problem. Then I have this variable, which is a reference to my dialog box. I put it in a group so it's easier to find it in script. It's a label containing the dialog text, it also has a background, an animated arrow, that goes up and down, and this name tag, which displays the name of the speaker. The name label also has its own script, which changes its color based on who is talking. I did this with a match statement, like if the text is John, the name will be yellow, if it's Brian, it will be green, etc. I have this index variable which is zero at the start of the dialog. I have this beep sound effect here. And I also have this bool called self-destruct. If it's true, the dialog deletes itself after you deactivated it. Otherwise you can activate it over and over again as many times as you'd like. Then I have a bool called timer started, a float called timer, and a bool called is active which is important if you have multiple dialog managers in a single scene. It decides which one is currently active. Then I have the activate function. In this method, I set the index to zero, I play the beep sound effect, I make the dialog box visible, I set the timer to 0.2, I set the timer started bull to true, and to the same with the is active variable. Then in the deactivate function, I set the dialog box's visible property to false, I set its text back to empty, is active will be false, and if self-destruct is true, then we will delete the dialog manager. Since the export keyword is here before the self-destruct declaration, you can adjust it in the inspector if you want it to self-destruct or not. Then in the process function, if the length of the dialog lines array is not equal to the current index, and the isActive variable is true, then we grab a reference to the name tag. For me, it's a child object of the dialog box, but you can reference it however you'd like. And then we set its text equal to this. If you don't use translations, you can delete this tr method, but you can also leave it there, it won't mess up anything. So we set the text equal to the current dialog line, then we slice the text into two parts, separated by this colon. That's because I write my dialog by first writing the name of the speaker, then a colon, and then the line they're speaking. So everything before the colon is the name of the character, everything after is the dialog line. We separate it by the colon, and then write zero, as we want the first part of the text. Then, the dialog box's text will be the same, but instead of zero, we write one here, as we want the second slice of the dialog line. Then if we release the interact key, which is either E or the left mouse button for me, but you can set it up however you'd like, and the dialog box is visible, and the timer is less or equal to zero, we have this timer so you don't skip dialog lines accidentally, then we show the next line, and set the timer back to 0.2. Then if this statement is false, but is active is true, that means we reached the end of the dialog, so we will deactivate the dialog manager. If timer started is true, we reduce the timer by delta, and we do this every frame, so it basically functions as a timer, as delta is the time difference between two frames. In the next line function we just add one to the index, and play the sound effect again. So this is how you make a dialogue system. If you want to add it to your scene, add a dialogue manager, add the beep sound effect and assign it to the manager, then you can write your lines here. And then you can activate it at any time. I'll just add a node, and make it so if you press the S key, you activate this dialog manager. So that's it for today's video. 
If you enjoyed it or found it useful, please subscribe to the channel. Bye.